So no questions, no hesitation. The Galaxy S10 Plus is definitely <laughs> pre-order. You know what I'm saying? That thing got too many dope up-to-date features for me not to get my hands on it and try it now granted you already know i am mesmerized i am hypnotized by the galaxy fold but s10 plus comes first baby so you already know i'll be back on the samsung get down you know what i'm saying it's been a while i've been away you know what i mean i know a lot of you've been seeing me do a lot of apple content y'all just like hey man you've been real apple heavy lately hey look here player let me tell you something i'm a tech Reviewer, my name is CJ Knows Tech, not CJ Knows Samsung or CJ Knows Apple, CJ Knows Tech. I use it all, I experience it all, and that's what it is. All right, player, so uh, let's talk. Yeah. What up, YouTube? My name is CJ. This is CJ Knows Tech, where I love to talk tech and anything creative. And today we are talking about why I pre ordered the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Yes, the big boy, baby. <laughs> now, um, it's been a while since. Uh, you know, I've been around Samsung, me and Samsung, you know, we got something special. I started sparking up my channel with a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So Samsung will always hold a special part in my heart. And I haven't had a Samsung device for some months now. And it's, uh, I still got my Galaxy Watch, but the Galaxy Watch is far more limited on iOS. And it's capable on the Pixel 3 XL, but on a Samsung device. That's where the Galaxy Watch comes alive. So my first two reasons for pre-ordering, I miss Samsung, and two, I get to unlock my Galaxy Watch with a full Samsung experience. I can't wait to do that. Another reason why I pre-ordered is the display. The display, the display, come on, man. You've seen that display, that display is a that display is amazing. Samsung has the best displays. There's no argument. They make every smartphone, for the most part, the smart people who are willing to go, you know, iPhone, Pixel, they went to Samsung. They get their displays from Samsung because Samsung makes the best display. And I miss having that super vibrant, oversaturated <laughs> display. Just It's just so crisp and so vibrant. It just brings content that you watch on it to life. Now, with the display being completely top to bottom, edge to edge, minus the little pinhole, we gotta see how the pinhole is. I gotta see how it is to experience that big body to screen ratio, even though it has the cutout. And we gotta see how that cutout plays into that. And if it's a, you know, <laughs> deal breaker or if it's something that I could deal with. Let's see. They made a lot of improvements with the Snapdragon 855. Battery efficiency, the optimization, the power functions and everything. Even with the fingerprint sensor, so you have a far more accurate in-glass fingerprint sensor because of the Snapdragon 855 technology. Another reason that I just mentioned is the in-glass fingerprint sensor. We gotta see what this is about. Now, I don't know, I, what? I know that there's already smartphones out there that have implemented the in-glass fingerprint sensor, but I don't think on this level of ultrasonic 3D read of the fingerprint sensor far more accurate far more uh, secure and far more new and fresh so I'm looking forward to trying Samsung's iteration of this in-glass fingerprint sensor I think this is gonna be dope you with me oh 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 another dope part about the Samsung s10 and s10 plus is that ultra wide lens that they threw on the back we got the ultra wide meaning it's gonna give you that field of view that you're used to seeing our eyes have a crazy ultra wide field of view vision and they're trying to implement and replicate that with this new ultra wide lens yo the panoramics are crazy top to bottom super wide we've been begging for wide lenses from the iphone for a very long time we have yet to receive on that as well as the pixel they gave us the wide lens but samsung gave us the ultra Ultra wide, baby. So it's taking it to a whole nother level. Flick some photos with that, as well as throwing the rhino shield on that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of camera, another thing that I'm looking forward to is this new artificial intelligence integration with camera. These new smart cameras. The smart camera is taking over and it's crazy. Now, when I tell you the smart camera on the Pixel 3 XL is nuts and crazy, and I'm glad to see all of the other manufacturers like Apple and Samsung starting to go that route because what artificial intelligence is able to do when analyzing a photo and then adding the depth of field and everything artificially, it looks just as good as the official camera. And it's a lot smaller, a lot more convenient, and it's everywhere with you. Now, another thing that I have yet to try that I'm pretty sure a lot of you are getting and have had use with is the One UI. I don't have a Samsung device at this moment. I know, I know, I know, trust me, I know. 
But I had to do what I had to do to, you know what I mean, survive in this tech community. You know what I'm saying? It's serious out here. <laughs> Anyways, I will have a chance to use the One UI. I'm excited to see what Samsung has brought to the software, you know, hookup. I've been asked by certain viewers, hey, what do you think of the One UI? Well, I will be definitely letting you know as soon as I get the S10 Plus coming up. And another reason did I mention, I got free Galaxy Buzz for pre-ordering S10 Plus. I mean, I mean, come on now. <laughs> so I get to give you reviews on the Galaxy Buds because you know these right here have been sitting with me and chilling with me and these are amazing. Seeing the features that they showed of the Galaxy Buds, you know they're a lot similar to the AirPods. Obviously come on man, we all know. Someone got to compete with the AirPods and Samsung is going to be one of the companies to definitely go at it. Other companies have been going at the AirPods but I'm more excited to see what Samsung's iteration is, Galaxy Buds. So <laughs> Kudos to Samsung on that front. I'm looking forward to getting the Galaxy Buds. I'm looking forward to getting the S10 Plus, baby. I'm looking forward to putting that bad boy to the use. And there's something else we gotta talk about. <laughs> I'll do it in another video. You know, there's something, there's a lot unfolding. There's a lot that happened at Unpack. There's also a couple more devices from Unpack, and we definitely have to get our hands on it. So stay tuned. My name is CJ. This is CJ Knows Tech, where I love to talk tech and anything creative. I just pre-ordered the S10 Plus. I'm hype about it. Can't wait to get my hands on it. You know what I'm saying? And I hope you are too. Boom. Um, if you're a Samsung hater, fall back on that. And if you need a little help, Fall back, bro.